welcome back to and this guides in today's video we are going to show you how to add contacts in zoom let's begin now the first thing that you need to do is to log in using your credentials if this is your first time in zoom i need you to click the sign up option and from here just follow the on-screen instructions and you're good to go adding contacts on zoom helps streamline your communication and collaboration by allowing you to easily connect with people you work with frequently all right now for you to be able to do that this method and process is doable on the zoom app on your mobile device or in the zoom website because i'm currently using the zoom application for a computer or the uh, desktop application now i need you to click on the more settings here and click on contacts now basically having contacts readily available makes it easier to start meetings or initiate chats without needing to search for their contact details each time all right and of course you can quickly invite your contacts to meeting reducing the time spent on coordinating and scheduling now once you are here you see there's going to be an option to add contact by clicking clicking the plus button for example in the contacts in the start right here for your external and cloud contacts all right you can connect a contact book but unfortunately i don't have anyone here at my zoom account yet for example you can also hover to the team chat for example you have a mentions here the missed call and of course go to the contact request all right you can come back to check new requests to accept or decline you also have an option for a bookmark reminders and especially for the mentions just right click and click on the add to contact uh, file here you also have an option for the plus button wherein you can initiate a new chat invite new contact which is very essential and all they're gonna do is type in their email address if this user accepts your request your profile information including your status will be visible to this contact you can also meet and chat with this contact and all they're gonna do is enter the email address which i'm going to do right now i'm gonna type in and the guy and click on invite now an invitation has been sent to andyguide at outlook.com once andyguide at outlook.com accepted the uh the the invite it would pro it would appear just around to your contact list right here all right you see external and you can simply connect a contact book it's a lot easier to do this in the website because it can save you time by having your key contacts readily accessible within Zoom, eliminating the need to search for an email address or other contact information. Of course, it can facilitate better coordination and communication among team members or project collaborators, leading to improved productivity. And having contacts added allows for more personalized communication and engagement because you can address individuals directly and remember previous interactions you can also send targeted messages or invitations based on your relationship with the contact if in case you encounter any problems along the way adding contacts in zoom just hover to the zoom customer service type in your question and at the bottom right click on the digital assistant to see if you get an answer if you encounter any problems adding contact in zoom and one of the support staff will give you insights and troubleshooting steps to fix the problem thank you so much for watching and we will see you again in the next video